I'm Michael Hubbard. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Hot Springs, Arkansas at National Park Medical Center. It's a minimally invasive approach where you don't cut uh, any tendons or muscles. Uh, it's uh, kind of a quick way to go right to the hip joint and you can do it through a smaller incision and generally the patients don't have a limp afterwards and it's a fast, generally fast recovery uh, according to patient dependent usually uh, but in, for the most part it's a quick recovery and a smaller incision and um, just a, a good way to do the hip. Uh, ideal candidate would be uh, somebody that's you know has hip arthritis you know that uh, comes to me or hip pain and they don't know they have arthritis or um, they come and they're just bone on bone arthritis. It, typically what I see from them is that you know, it's hard to get out of the car, put on a shoe, uh, things like that that they notice and really just hard to move their hip uh, or uh, sometimes I see a, a younger person that has uh, the bone that dies and that's called avascular necrosis um, but uh, that's kind of few and far between. I think the overall benefit is that like I talked about you know you don't cut through tendons uh, it's really a minimally truly minimally invasive it's more of a soft tissue procedure than a bony procedure and you uh, patients get up quicker um, so, you know again patient dependent but some say they have less pain, uh, they can move quicker, and uh, they like that smaller incision too. The pain that they're experiencing now with that hip arthritis or not being able to move their leg much, uh, they will be very grateful, probably within a, a week or two. Some patients, even the day after surgery, they say, wow, that pain is gone. Of course, they saw the surgical pain, but the pain that they experienced before is, is gone. So I'd say, you know, if you're ready to do it, uh, we need to have a conversation about it. But I will never do surgery on someone until they tell me, hey, I'm ready to do surgery. So if you're the one that has convinced me, I'm not gonna convince you, basically. Again, patient dependent, but generally, you know, you get up with therapy right away. Uh, if I do it early enough in the morning, the same day of surgery, you're up walking with a walker with physical therapy. But usually by two weeks, most of my patients are carrying their walkers in. Uh, and there's, I don't need this anymore. Um, some people are like that right out of, I had one that the day of surgery just wanted to walk right out of the hospital and she was ready to go uh, without anything. So, yeah, patient dependent, but generally I've seen with this approach, it's a very, uh, very fast recovery and they get back to doing their daily life uh, without pain.